Hi right, Tubes, here's the latest update for on this uh, this radial engine there. Yeah. What's going on here, Super Mike? Oh, not too much there. <laughs> what do you got? Super Mike, look yeah, at that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's that? That is going to be the uh, the uh, front crankcase uh, plate. Front crankcase cover. So, it's going to go on this side. And this is going to be the top cylinder here. That's going to sit on there like that. Hmm. It's coming together. Yeah. We we wound up cutting that with a cutoff wheel because uh, we don't have a plasma cutter. No. And a cutting torch was going to be a little too sloppy and rough. Exactly. So you just we would have had to grind it out anyway. So uh, right. So you get a nice edge with the cutting wheel, and then once we get it to the point where we can bolt it on, I'm mm -hmm. going to do that now. Uh, work on locating the mounting studs. Once we bolt it on, we can shape it when we clean everything up. Clean up all the rough edges, and it'll look. Perfect. Yeah. It'll blend in. That's pretty good. We didn't show the guys uh, what you do with the camshafts there. Uh -oh. Show them we had to, we had to cut uh, some keyways here. We actually I bought a brooch set. Mike broached these. Uh, yeah, these are going to be our, uh, our cam sprockets. You can see, I put the keyway in there, and and in these two, and these uh, rods here are going to be the shafts. I just I used the mill and I milled a keyway in there and in there, and just got it. It's a three thirty seconds keyway. 3 8 uh, shaft. So, and and the cams themselves, these are the original brakes cams that we've cut down. They're going to sit on here like that, and they're going to be pinned onto this uh, shaft here. And the gear is what's going to be removable. So you'll install the install the cam. Well, you put one plate on, slip the cam in there, slide the other plate on, and then the gears go on at the end. There you go. So, I don't know right. if we could have bought a shaft with a, with a 3 30 second. A keyway because that's pretty small. Uh, it's better to make it yourself. Yeah. If you if you could, you'd, you'd probably be full fully keyed, right, and we exactly. don't want that. Yeah. You know, I guess unless we wanted to to key the cam, but then we'd have to have a set screw in there, and there's not a lot of meat for that. Right. So, you know. Yeah. Yeah. A little milk coming handy. You still got the the three thirty second uh, uh, yeah, little bit in there. Still in there. Got okay. a, got one more keyway to cut in in the, one more shaft. And then there's our little chain. Yep, yep. What size is that, Mike? Uh, number 25, I believe. Yeah, it's pretty tiny. Yeah. But, uh, but, but that'll do the job. Yeah, exactly. It's just turning the, uh, it's just Three baby turn, cams. Turning the camshafts there. Huh. So, uh, what do we, uh, where's our oil pump? Yeah, there it is. Ah, uh, oh, yeah. Here's our oil pump. Everybody's worrying about the oil pump. Are you going to get oil up there? Yep, yep. Well, it's that's, gonna that's be a little a oil pump. Mechanically driven, uh, oil pump. So, um, maybe we can work on that a little bit today. That's going to be driven off of the tail end of the crankshaft through a set of uh, bevel gears and it will be located down at the bottom in a separate oil reservoir that will be bolted on either offset of the block or directly under the block and it will be pumped up to a nozzle and right. spray multiple directions. Well that, that block is upside down right now. Uh, yeah actually it's going to sit. It's going to sit right like, like uh, yeah. that. Uh, Let's see what that oil pump is going to be Mike. Uh, it's going to be well, this is the front, so we'll just call this the back for now. It's going to be mounted down here. Uh, there's going to be a tank. It's going to be mounted at the bottom of the tank, so it'll, it'll suck from the bottom, and then we'll have a copper line coming up somewhere either in the crankcase or in the crankcase covers um, with a little a nozzle on the inside that'll with three holes, one to spray toward each, um, each cylinder, and then to spraying on the... Uh, uh, the main crank pin and the master rod and all that assembly. So there'll be plenty of oil fling yeah, flinging around in this engine. Okay. We we'll don't have to worry about that. No. Nah. And then as far as the the return, I know there were some concerns about that that were brought up. Um, there's going to be, I, th I think I actually want to grind uh, a little recess into this lower plate and somewhere in the center or offset there'll be a drain back into that tank that we haven't built yet. And then in this cylinder over here, this is obviously going to be the lowest point, the valve chest of the lower cylinder. We'll just call this one the lower cylinder. Uh, in the valve cover, we'll have another drain. It'll actually be right here, and that'll drain back into the tank as well, just so we don't fill this valve chest up right. with uh, with oil, because over time it'll seep past the valve guides, and 
it might even lock right. up the cylinder if it gets filled with oil. But right. you got to get some oil seepage, but that's uh, yeah, com well, common for a radial. Right. That's how to build, design. It's going to happen anytime you have a cylinder hanging upside down with oil mm -hmm. flinging in it. You know, it, it's going to be smoke on startup for 10 seconds and right. business as usual. So, exactly. You know, no big deal. All right. Well, we got a lot to do here, so yep. uh, let's get to work, buddy. All right. All right, let's check with our buddy Mike over here. What's going on, Mike? Ah, well, a couple things we got going on. Um, uh, you, you already saw the oil pump, right? right. The little oil pump we have. Um, after I worked in the front uh, plates, I made the uh, oil pump drive shaft here. I cut a little, the little uh, flat into that, and that interlocks there. So, just like uh, on on an automobile or something, got your oil pump drive shaft. Now, what I'm doing with this aluminum block, this is going to be uh, the mount for the oil pump slash uh, oil manifold. So, what I'm doing right now is just squaring the block up because it's just a rough piece of aluminum. But uh, this will be bolted to the bottom of the oil tank, and the pump will be on the bottom of this. The drive rod is going to go straight through that block, and then I'm going to drill the block, uh, drill ports in the block. So. The oil tank will be here, so there'll be a hole here. It'll go inside the block, over, and then down into the inlet port of the pump, and then the, the other port will come up, and it'll either come straight up, and there'll be a, a, a threaded hole for the oil line, or it'll come out the side. So whatever I feel like doing, whatever I decide to do. Hmm. But um, it's going to be, you know, smaller than this, obviously. This is, like I said, just a rough block, and all I'm doing now is... Um, just facing it off, making all the surfaces square so that all the work I do will be square right. from then on. Because you can see there's hammer marks on here. Oh yeah, that was, that was a rough piece. Right, it's just a chunk of aluminum. I don't know what we use that for, but yeah. somebody beating on a good with a hammer. Yeah, yep. Hmm. So, but uh, but yeah, I mean, manual machining, it, like this, just, just to cut this little, uh, little flat in there on this little mill took me, you know, better part of 45 minutes. Yeah. You know, with with you know with our with our little tools and everything, getting everything lined up. But that, I mean, it, yeah. it's a really nice fit there now. So, but it was worth it. Yeah, they're not production tools, but, uh, no, but good, it, good for a little garage like ours. Certainly, certainly, it's doing a good job. Yep. All right, we're getting there, buddy. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, it's getting late in the day here. I think Mike's getting ready to go home. What'd yeah. you uh, What'd you get done here, Mike? Well, I got three sides of the block squared off. Um, these two and then the bottom face are squared off now. Um, and we're pretty much where we were before. Uh, but next week we'll, uh, sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> Up down. We'll, this, uh, this is YouTube. Well, yeah. <laughs> Not Discovery. We're going to, uh, I'll take the block and, um, you know, measure everything up. And uh, uh, we got a thing, uh, the pump came with a gasket so that that'll help as a template to tell me where, uh, where everything's got to be lined up at. Drilled a hole through it for the shaft, and uh, also uh, drill a hole for all the oil ports. And in the meantime, I'll uh, we gotta find some uh, nice thin steel to make the oil tank out of. Thinking maybe something like eighth inch steel mm -hmm. to make the tank, and then it'll hang at the bottom. Then it'll have a filler plug on it, and all that stuff. Um, also, got to get the bushings for the uh, cam cam shafts, where the, where the cam shafts are gonna pass through the plates here. We're gonna make some, uh, put some bronze bushings in there, and uh, figure out a way, some kind of oil seal to keep the oil from spraying out through that, through that shaft hole, where they pass through the uh, crankcase ends. So I've got lots to do yet, but uh, really, it, it's it's farther along than it looks. It is. We had a lot done. It doesn't look like it get much done, but uh, right. Every little bit helps. Yep, definitely. Yep. Okay. Uh, I was gonna call it a day. All right, we'll see you, tubes. Thank you, Andy.